scroll. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go like, this is more, I feel like this is more fun. Yeah, oh, I love, I mean, like yeah, that. we're down for this. Okay, and then stop. <laughs> Hey friends, it's your girl Emily Curl back in my virtual studio and today we are hanging out with the one and only Russell D. Russell Dickerson in the building. Russell, you know I always love seeing you. What is up? What's up my girl? How are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm so happy to be here. You know we love seeing you and this is a big momentous occasion because we are celebrating your new album, your third studio self-titled album, Russell Dickerson. First and foremost, congratulations. How does Thank it feel you. having this out into the world? Oh, I mean, it feels like just letting the bird fly out into the wild. You know, you raise it from a tiny baby and then one day it's just ready to ready to fly. So much love and so much care goes into raising it. And then it's just let it fly out into the world. For us to enjoy. And yeah. it's so interesting too, because you are a co-writer on all of these songs. So we mm -hmm. see Russell in every single part of this that had to be a cool you know creative process for you walk me through what that was like you know having your hands on this full album yeah it was amazing to kind of like we weren't on the road a ton you know we wrote these in kind of late 2020 early 21 uh you know all through 21 and so it's just like there was time to dig deep there was time to go back and you know like with the first song blame it on being young like we could go back to my 16 year old self and dig into those emotions and feelings and stories. And um, it was a great, honestly, a great time to to be able to do that. You know, when, when in a normal world, if everything would have kept going, I don't know if we would have had the time to really slow down and really dig for these songs. But I mean, I just, I feel like I, I connected to a new level of storytelling and songwriting, you know, with, with that time we had at home. It's so interesting because this description I love of, about the album built on forever young thrills, yet tempered with the wisdom of time. And listen to that album, I felt that too, where you get the fun Russell D vibes of a party anthem, but then you also have those really vulnerable songs that you feel like it's like, oh, Russell's lived this whole life, we're getting a peak of that. Did you feel like there was a lot of that back and forth like when you put yourself on this album? Yeah, absolutely. And that's kind of what, what kicked off I mean, again, with Blame It On Being Young is like this, this deeper, more emotional side to start the album with, to set the tone of not just, you know, we got the big party songs, we got the big love songs and everything, of course, but uh, just kicking it off on like a little bit different of a note of like one of my favorite written songs that I've written um, and just kind of a different story, the nostalgia of all the dumb stuff we used to do when we were 16 and 17. So yeah, there is that span of, there's still that that electricity in the album, but there's also a deeper, uh, a deeper storyteller side that comes out on this album. Is there anything in particular you found that you learned about yourself that maybe that you didn't know before that like awoke in a different part of you? I don't know, it's like more so just like parts that I know are there and just exposing those like about, becoming a dad on just like your mama that song it's the last song on the album and uh you know blame it on being young is about being 16 17 just like your mama is about us becoming parents like i'm becoming a dad so there's in between the the first and the last song is so much life and so much story telling and i feel like i just like was comfortable opening up into those new like emotions and new letting people into my teen years and letting people into me and Kaylee's breakup when you know we were in college with I wonder and just really just like not trying to come up with something new but actually digging deeper into my past for for store real life stories to tell why do you feel like you talk about being comfortable? Why do you feel like now was the right time? Or why do you feel like now was the time you felt the most comfortable to share this? Because I'm just, I, I just feel like I'm at a point where like, screw it. There's nothing else that I can try to be or not that I, I mean, my first two albums were still 100% me. It just, instead of trying to fit into keep everything in this one little lane, there's just like, I just feel like I just opened up the gates of different textures and different 
instruments and genres and like, yeah, it's country, but there's also some little, there's a little spice in there. There's a little blues. There's a little, you know, there's all kinds of different influences that I was just like, you know what? I'm not just going to keep it in this little lane. Like I'm, I'm going to open it wide. There's no rules. Yeah. Exactly. Well, Russell, congratulations. Again, the album is so good. We're so excited for you. And since the audience gets to see a little peek of you in this album, we thought we could give them a little something extra here at iHeart. So today we're going to play our game called Picks or It Didn't Happen, where we get a chance to let our audience see what goes on in the camera roll behind one of their favorite artists. You seem <laughs> nervous, Russell. Uh -oh. How are you feeling? <laughs> oh, God. There's going to so be a lot of double chins for my... From we need all the angles. For sure. The way this game works is I'm going to tell you to start scrolling in your phone, right? In your in your camera roll. I'm going to tell you to stop. And when you stop, it's going to correspond with the scenario I have over here to my right. And I'm going to read it off. And that's going to be the picture that corresponds with it. Are you ready to play? All right, let's go. Break the phone out. Here we go. Russell, open up your camera roll. All right, all right. open. All right, ready? Are you start? OK, are you ready to scroll? Yeah. Here we go. All right, start scrolling. Stop. This photo will be your next tour poster. Ooh. <laughs> Honestly, that's not bad. Wait, actually this one's great. <laughs> <laughs> we just got back from Europe. So there's like, my wife took a bunch of pictures on the camera. So it's just like a bunch of- bunch Wait, of that's there. that actually could work, I think. I think it could. <laughs> All right, are you ready for the next one? All right. Okay, keep scrolling. Scroll, 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 stop. Okay. This photo will be your next tattoo. And that's your next tattoo. Oh, oh wait, that's actually, is that you and Kaylee? Wait, that's actually yeah. a good one. There we oh, go. you could actually get the nice little outline of that. No, that would be a cute tattoo. Okay, that's but actually- where? <laughs> I want pulled back. This kind of makes, this kind of makes a little heart right there, you know? Oh my God. When what was this? Heart? Do you have tattoos, Russell? You do, right? I have zero tattoos. So this will be your first one across your back? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. All right. Scroll. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go like, this is more, I feel like this is more fun. Yeah, oh, I love, I mean, like yeah, that. we're down for this. Okay, and then stop. Stop on a photo and click it. Oh, we got a video. I got my event shop merchant. Fire, buddy, great fit. Enjoy, Scoop. <laughs> okay, this scenario was you have to send this this well now video to Kaylee with no context. Okay, done. Send, I feel like she'll love that. I can't wait to see what she says. <laughs> She's gonna be like, what is this? <laughs> what merch was that for? That's just your is this this tour merch? Yeah, no, it's it's called Event Shop. And so they take photos from the actual show and then you can take that photo from like from the Ryman show, all right? Like anybody who was at the oh, Ryman show, you can yeah. scan the QR, you can pick out your favorite picture, you can put it on a black shirt, a white shirt, a couple different graphics, it's sick. Kale says, <laughs> random. <laughs> She's on to us. Okay, are you ready for your next one? Ready. All right, scroll, scroll, scroll. <laughs> I love the commitment to this game. Stop. All right, this photo, you has to be the next outfit you wear on stage. <laughs> well, let's see. It's gonna be a diaper. There he is. Oh my God. Oh. That is hysterical. I'm wearing, I'm wearing a diaper on stage next. You have to, you have to. You have to do it for your son. Okay, let's do a couple more. Um, all, all right, right, the next photo in your phone. Are you scrolling? Here you go. Scroll, scroll. Stop. You have to send this photo to one of your country pals, Jake Scott, who's on the album. It's a picture, it's actually a picture of Young Thug in a jacket that I screenshotted. Cause I was like, that jacket's sick, like an R and a D, you know? Yeah. Is he wearing a Russell Dickerson jacket? What's on the other what side of that? What if he was, dude? What if he was? Dude. I don't, I highly doubt it, but. Okay, send that to Jake, see what he thinks of your new merch. All right, cool. <laughs> so we need jackets like this, RD plus JS. <laughs> yes, I love Jake that. Jake Scott said, we won't. The fact that Jake made a cameo. Dude, <laughs> Dude we, we won't. won't. 
<laughs> the fact that Jake did a cameo in our video is everything to me. Amazing. Okay, Russell, I've got three more for you. Are you ready to scroll a little bit no more? Way. Okay, scroll, scroll, scroll. Stop. Caption this photo with your favorite lyrics from your new album. Oh, it's a tweet, a screenshotted tweet. Oh, and it's a tweet, huh? So it's gonna be kind yeah. of meta. I know. Well, it's about the FGL tour canceling. <gasps> Bad news. Oh. She said, the mo what hurts the most about FGL canceling tour is I don't get to see Russell. And I said, stay tuned. Ooh. So that would be to me, I'd probably go with beers to the summer. That would be like, you know what? We're going to get there because this was this was like pre summertime. So it was like, oh, wow. You know, so we're going deep. Yeah, I, we're into the archive. We're going to break. We're going to get back together. We're going to raise some beers for the summer. We're going to rage at the yes. RD party. OK, so are we have can we expect more shows a, a tour coming soon? Always. I'm always touring, girl. You know that. I know. I love that about you. <laughs> it's always a party. I love it. Yeah. OK, two All more. Right. More. All right, here we go. All right. Scroll, scroll, stop. You have to send this photo to your family group chat. This is a picture of Athletic Greens. <laughs> what is Athletic Greens? I don't know what this is. It's like a, it's like a, pa like a packet of powder, and it's like got your greens and your vitamins and your. Oh. Blah, 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 I don't know. Yeah. Our group chat's called the whole fam damnly. The whole fam. Wait, the whole fam dam. Wait, what is it? Whole fam damnly. Yeah. Whole fam damnly. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, this is the last one for you. Okay, we're back. Scroll, 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 stop. All right, you have to print and frame this photo and put it by Remington's bed. This is, this is, this is with my sister. Look at those cheeks. Get ah. out of here. Oh my God. How old was he at this point? This is probably Christmas. Let's see. Yeah, December 23rd. So he's three, four months old. Those cheeks. I know. What are the odds of Lim? I'm such a good one for him. I know. <laughs> I was ready for it to be like you chugging a beer with Jake Scott. And that's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Here, I'll just, that just needs to be. <laughs> and he's how old now, Russell? Two. He just turned two. That is insane. I know it's it is he's two years and a month now does he when you play the album like in your house or in your home does he like dance or like like oh, get revved up a certain track is his turn up song you're lying he loves that song he bounces I mean, from, he vibes? from yeah he his move his move is Stop. honestly mine too <laughs> yeah so yeah <laughs> Russell, thank you so much for playing oh, our game. Yeah, of course, thank you. Always guys. so, always so good to see you, and congratulations again on yeah. the album. It is out now. We're so there excited for you. Come on! And of course, for everyone watching, make sure you stream all of Russell Dickerson's music on iHeartCountry, including his new self-titled album. We'll see you next time.